Welcome to AI in Practice, your journey towards defining, designing and implementing sustainable AI applications. In this session, we want to focus on assessing the commercial scale and the return on invest of AI application. If we look in current digital realms, in current digital offerings, we see a tremendous push towards what's called a value-based offering. That means it's accelerating um, and changing the value proposition of digital products towards what we call a servitization. A servitization means that we rather sell value of the digital services and the digital solutions instead of the product value itself. That means typical use cases arise from decreasing downtime, reducing time and money, increasing long nativity, pay per usage, maximizing um, cer certain kinds of service models. And that led to everything acts as a service business models, like equipment as a service, outcome as a service, and value as a service. In the session, we want to focus specifically on what does it actually mean shaping value in the age of AI. So value is obviously a subjective notion, right? We need to somehow quantify it based on an individual customer because a value is perceived very on the individual levels, right? It's an observation, it's a preference, it's a judgment. And for sure, value is identified by different personas and different key roles and different decision makers differently. Like a CFO quantifies values a tremendously different than a product manager, which may look rather on availability or productivity of the features. Therefore, in order to quantify the value in AI, you need to put yourself in the customer's point of view, not from an inside out, but from the operational view uh, manner. How we deal with that is that we need to approach a customer value quantification approach, which can be structured along the line of value categories, value drivers, the value metric, the value range, and the value calculation. To give a bit of examples, we're talking about the value categories as a segment of the, the customer value system. For example, like the maintenance optimization, right, which equips also towards the, the value driver for each category, like the value quantification of that, which could be the spare part costs in that. And the value range and the value metric that you want to calculate is the indicator how to measure actually the value and the subsequently the monetary quantification, like the warehousing cost per year. That means we can pull down and define from maintenance optimization, targeting the actual value, the spare part costs, towards an optimization metric in terms of warehousing costs per year. These kinds of five simple steps allows you to quantify value for a customer. On the other side, the second frame which I would like to introduce is the return of invest of a model for AI, which differentiates um, and quantifies, tries to quantify an outcome and a value per prediction. So different than the previous you know, framework that we used, in this case, we want to quantify the prediction of an ML model. And we differentiate between the investments and the returns, and we differentiate between hard and soft factors. Hard factors in the returns are typical time-saving, cost-saving, productivity increases or revenue increases. While hard factors on the investment side is obviously resources, licenses that we add to that. The soft factor of AI models are obviously in the returns, better experiences, better skill retention, agility, and so on, right? While we have it obviously also on, on the investment side. We need data, we need to compute, we need subject matter expert, we need AI and data science. All of this can be then calculated and accumulated together to pull together the investments as a resource to build the model, multiplied by the cost of the resources, 
and is in contrast then to the benefits of the model minus the uncertainty of the benefits that we have arranged. Because obviously there are some kinds of cost of error, some kinds of impact of errors need to be calculated. This simple formula gives you a good indication about the value per prediction as you have it maybe in the, in the ads business. Overall equipped, we see and differentiate then in providing the offering and delivering the offering, you know, different mechanisms and blueprints with regards to delivery models and with regards to revenue models. Typical delivery models are, for instance, solutions, right? Service solutions, integration, engineering. But you may also think about sellable products, standardized offerings provided on premise. Access a service, as I mentioned already, with regards to the servitization domain, service contracts, or software-enabled services. Typical revenue models that you see in these digital platforms are one-time purchases, like customer pays only once and has then unlimited use, subscription-based, as you know it from you know, all kinds of Netflix and, and subscription-based services, transaction-based, uh, per individual transaction, pay per use, using as the cost arise and also in terms of scale, or most hot in current times, performance based. So actually uh, outcomes as a charge according to the predefined schema. So delivery and revenue model definition are very important for your AI offering. Last but not least, you may equip that in in a typical organizational value creation and typical reducing costs, generating gains mechanism. We talk on the left side about you know, typical um, reducing costs like risk avoidance, maintenance optimization, sustainability as a leading par paradigm in corporates or reducing life costs. On the other side, um, these kinds of optimization are obviously with a simple limit equipped Generating gains, on the other side, are much more broader in scale, like outputs and crews, producing more products, enable new services, immaterial values that you enable, or financial optimization. That means you want always compare either reducing costs and or generating gains in your value proposition towards uh, the pricing and towards the value assessment of scale in AI. In these categories, there are typical category drivers, which we say, which you see here now, is like customer value cries and their driving examples. In maintenance optimization, for instance, it's using manpower or reducing hardware costs. In output increase, it could be higher product output, performance increases, higher asset utility, higher availability. For Sustainability, for instance, you can you know, think on reducing emissions, reducing waste, reducing islands, reducing actually natural resources. So approaching your value proposition and your return on invest aspects need to cover a bit more than just the prediction, but think on customer value categories and the value drivers in these categories as you see in here. All these together are then and can be combined to a return on invest cal calculation. Um, what you see here is a typical return on invest calculation, which is spread over two, a couple of months, sometimes years, about the cost drivers and the value created and the break even point on return on invest uh, aspects. That you bring cost drivers as CAPEX and OPEX, operational expenses, and you um, compare it to the value drivers of additional revenues and or internal savings together, which makes then, in the end, the quantification of the cost and the value drivers iteratively to refine on the REI calculation. Last but not least, this may be then equipped in what we use in Abysmo canvas. That means a revenue canvas where we differentiate and define Revenue models, customer models, investment models, finance models, delivery models, cost models, all these kinds of processes. That means there are typical frameworks there and typical canvases there which help you structuring um, your ROI calculation but also your revenue logics for your clients and for your offerings. In the session now, you've learned three different approaches to value assessment and return on invest calculation in AI.
the customer value quantification, the difference delivery and revenue models you need to equip, and the value drivers in AI and digital offerings along the journey of AI. Dive deeper in the supplemental material in the platform. Thanks very much.